Now let's work on our eyes. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with our mouth with our eyes, but because, ooh, sorry if that was really loud, but because our eyes have eyebrows and potentially makeup, if you are using a photo of somebody with makeup on, we have some different struggles. Now, one thing I might have forgot to mention last time, if you are wearing glasses, or your character is wearing glasses, that kind of changes the game on what we are gonna make. So I recommend, if you took a selfie of yourself already, to take another one if you have glasses on. Or if your teacher has glasses on, go back and ask them real quick to take another photo so you don't have to battle with the eyeglasses. They're kind of a different breed and we'd have to cut them out. We'll have to fill in the skin behind them, which wouldn't be a problem. It's just a step that you might not be ready to handle at this point. But if you feel like you can tackle it, totally do it. So if you want to mess with the glasses, they need to be totally cut out so the eyes don't get caught up in them. So, but for the rest of us that don't have glasses to worry about, let's get to work. So I need to come back here to my face layer. I need to click on my face image thumbnail and I'm gonna use my regular lasso again. Grab extra skin, make sure to go around those wrinkles of the eye, and then go up in there near your eyebrow. Now since this is a kid, he you know doesn't have a huge distance here on his face. Towards his eyebrow, it's totally okay if you grab some eyebrow, because we'll just get rid of it when we mask it. So there's my ants. I'm going to do a command J and I'm going to create my separate eyeball layer. Please, please, please name this layer. Right eye, left eye, whatever you name it, just know it's an eye because it's so small you can barely see the thumbnail. Same thing as our mouth, we are going to enlarge our eye. You can do it uniformly by holding shift and pulling on the corner. You can make it kind of bigger up and down if you wanted. So it's a little more of a circle than an almond shape. Totally up to you. When you're happy with it, hit OK, or excuse me, enter. Add your mask, and of course, get to work blending that down. So if that eyebrow was a part of the image you grabbed, you're gonna have to make sure that it doesn't come with it. So you gotta mask it away. Then around the face, you know, I probably wanna keep some of my wrinkles around my eye because that keeps it looking realistic, but if you need to kind of blend them down in there a little bit, you can. Now because of these eyelashes on this kid, or if you've got really long eyelashes in your photo too, we are potentially gonna have to shrink down our brush size so we can kind of do some little strokes near those shapes just to kind of help blend away any of that skin that came with it that we don't want. So you can hear me doing lots of clicking. That's just me kind of cleaning up here around this picture. Now the more I clean up, the more I realize, like I like my eye shape, I just don't really like where it's at. That's totally fine, like you can still reposition it, you can resize it. Once you get it kind of isolated down, you kind of see what you're working with a little bit. You can rotate it if you'd like. Totally up to you. Then once, of course, it's in a little better location, you can go back to work getting rid of anything unwanted that you don't need. Cool. Just like our mouth, when you're done with your eye, hide your face. Oh my goodness, I missed a lot. And then you can be sure to go in there and just clean up any of those little stragglers that didn't get masked off the first time. There we go, that's a little nicer. Now I don't have any random pieces floating around. So the same thing you did with this eye, we're gonna do to the other eye. So I'm gonna swap back to my face thumbnail. I'm going to get my regular lasso tool and I'm gonna to go to work selecting this eyeball, doing a command J to make a new layer for it. Ha ha, new layer. 
enlarging it. That's not the way I did the other one. Let me fix that. I went this way. And then when you get it where you want it, applying your mask and blending it down. Use that fuzzy brush to your advantage. Get rid of all that skin that we don't need. But keep what you do to make it look as realistic as possible. Make sure if your character has kind of a lower eyelid, like my eyelids kind of hang over my eyes, if that makes sense. So we want to make sure your character potentially keeps that. So that's just something to think about. So then he kind of still has that skin overlap. All right, there are my two eyeballs. I've got two eyeball layers. Oh, I forgot to name this one. Better name it. And now we are ready to change the color of our eyes in the next video. So save, and then let's get to work again.